Virginia Beach City leaders say it will be more expensive to build the new dome site project than originally planned. Council members approved a surf park and entertainment complex near the ocean front in 2019, but construction has stalled. Investigative reporter Evan Watson breaks down the new details. This is where Virginia Beach wants to build a new concert hall and live entertainment building, but the pandemic changed some of the design plans and now costs are rising. I'm sure there's a lot of folks that would rather get it running now and get it going, get it into the pipe, get it finished off and move forward instead of putting it off for another year. The former dome site near the Virginia Beach oceanfront is now mostly parking lots and vacant city lots. Grammy award winning artist and Virginia Beach native Pharrell Williams joined a development group to back a surf park and entertainment project. But with rising construction costs, city leaders say it will cost more to make that a reality. Virginia Beach City Council members are set to vote tomorrow on moving more than $9 million from resort area parking projects to cover new construction costs. Is it still a good idea? Yes. I wouldn't leave it in the condition that it's in right now. John Hilgers is a contractor building across the street from the proposed dome site. He says he expects construction to be more expensive now than originally planned. They have to look at what's going to come out of it, what's going to help the community what's going to make us stronger and keep making us more viable, strengthening our, our economy. Because of the pandemic, dome site project designers expanded the outdoor space and lawn area, bumping up the cost. Designers also increased the size of the music hall complex from 50,000 square feet to more than 72,000 square feet. City leaders want to start construction later this year. In Virginia Beach, Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now. Virginia Beach leaders have said the entire surf park and entertainment project will cost about $325 million, with the city paying about one-third of that. The rest would be covered by private investments.